Hi friends, welcome back to Excel Map. This is Srinivas Reddy. In this video session, we will discuss about reverse lookup in Excel. Already in the previous sessions, we discussed about what is VLOOKUP, what are the arguments in the VLOOKUP, what is HLOOKUP, everything we discussed. But generally, VLOOKUP, it takes from left to right. For example, see there is a rate table. These are all ratings and these are all numerical score. Just we have to find out the numerical score from the rate table is equal to VLOOKUP, lookup value, fair, comma, table array, comma, second column, comma, zero. Now we will get the values, how much fair it is 71 and satisfactory is 78. Okay, if the data is like this, there is no problem directly by using VLOOKUP function, we will get the data because that lookup value is left side and the data is right side. Okay, in this scenario, there is no problem. But if it is reverse, see the lookup value is right side. If the data is left side, we cannot use VLOOKUP directly. For that, we'll use reverse lookup. So there is no direct function for reverse lookup. In that, we'll use index match functions. By using index match functions, we'll do reverse lookup. So before doing reverse lookup directly, first of all, once we'll discuss what is index function and what is match function. See here, first we'll discuss about match. What is match? Match, very simply we can say to finding the position in the row or column is equal to match lookup value C5 comma A colon A in the complete A column comma zero. So that is 5606755555 where it is, it is in the seventh position. That's why we got seven. That is called match. And index, in the index we are giving table array and row number, column number. Intersection of row number and column number in the table array will get the value is equal to index first array. So that value comma here row number is seven and uh, column number is 1 because we have only one column. We will get the value 5607555 because in this 7th value, 7th position, 7th row, first column is 5607555. Okay, this is uh, how match and index functions are working. Now, by using these two, match function and index function, will do reverse lookup. See here, just we wanted to find out the numerical score from the rate table, but uh, direct VLOOKUP is not possible. That's why we are using index match function and we'll do reverse lookup. First is equal to index. See, in the index, it is asking array, table array. Now I'm selecting the range from A2 to A8 because those values we want. Now press F4. What is F4 to freeze the values? If you are dragging down the range, the data range will change automatically. That's why I am freezing the range. If you are going to the next cell also, the data range should be A2 colon A8 only. Comma. Now we'll use row number. So what is the row number? Actually we want a fair. Where is the fair? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, column number is 1. Column number is 1. Now we'll get the value 71. Fair is 71. But every time we cannot count like this. Like fair is 5th uh, one. Satisfactory is like 4th uh, one. We cannot count every time. So instead of that, we'll use a function called match. In the place of row number, we'll use a function called match. Just match function in that uh, lookup value is this fair e to comma where we are searching in this rating from b2 colon b8 here also you have to do phrase comma 0 0 for exact then comma 1 as it is comma 1 bracket close enter See, now we got fair without counting. Just double click autofill. Satisfactory, 78. Good, 85. 
see automatically will get uh, see the data is from left to right then we'll go for normal vlookup but here right to left so reverse that's why we are using reverse lookup by using index match function but in all the times the data is not like from left to right sometimes it will be there from right to left also in that scenarios we have to use this index match function and we'll do the reverse lookup thank you friends for watching this video